matching set in the rear outboard positions with a flat bench portion between them for the unlucky fifth occupant. The SDR comes standard with aluminum interior trim, but our test vehicle arrived with $2,300 of carbon fiber instead. In fact, our example came with $12,195 worth of optional extras upgraded sound system, adaptive cruise control, etc. that brought the total to a stunning $124,540. But rhinos don't come cheap. That dollars 12k in optional niceties is on top of the $31,400 that the SDR tax on to the Sport Supercharged price. Is the SDR worth that much over the Sport Supercharged? Of course not. But we're deep in the land of diminishing returns, and the Sport Supercharged is already more performance SUV than even seemed possible a decade ago. But let's say you appreciate the Safari pedigree of a Land Rover but also want to cut the lap of an evil old German racetrack or maybe you want to stand out from the herd at your local rover heavy watering hole. You will want just such a beast.